Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do click subscribe down below, join us as a frequent flyer and uh, be sure to check out my Vatsim Tutorials playlist as well while you're here. So today's video is going to cover how to install a few different clients to try and help with model matching in Microsoft Flight Simulator in its current state. Of course in the future the same sort of principles will apply, uh, but we'll have different packages come out such as FSLTL uh, and so on that will uh, pretty much give us a one-size-fits-all package. So you want to go to uh, the IVAO website, go to Resources, Software, Beta, and you want to go to the Pilot Client Altitude. Scroll down and you want to download this one here, Altitude for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Let's go ahead and download that. You'll then get it downloaded as a zip folder so go there and open that zip folder and press the executable file within it and it will then start to set up the client. Make sure of course if it's this bit here is blank you train it to show where your community folder is going to be so you want it just to show to packages. Click next and then you want to make sure the MTL library is ticked because that's what you want, that's got all the models inside of it and then hit install if your firewall pops up asking for uh, internet access then obviously uh, allow it and the IVAO servers are particularly slow so this can take upwards of uh, one to two hours to download uh, this model file from IVAO uh, but in the meantime you can go ahead and download the livery mega pack uh, and all that sort of stuff as well so while that's going ahead it's telling me there are two hours remaining you can go ahead and download the livery's mega pack manager from their website I'm sure most of you will be on their discord server and this one will ask you what liveries from the mega pack you want to download into your community folder so go ahead and just select all of the ones that you want uh, for that and update all your liveries as your waiting for the IVAO client to download. Also while that's all going on in the background you can go to flightsim.to and then search for model matching and download my model matching tool. It's not been updated for a long time but uh, I'll actually be showing people how to edit this yourself. Uh, depending on your own setup it's quite important to be able to change the file to your own needs so uh, check out that video that shows you how to do that uh, go ahead and hit download and then you'll get that zip folder and you also want to go to forums.flightsimulator.com the official Microsoft Flight Simulator forums go into the community tab general discussion you want to search for VATSIM model matching and uh, you want to find this one here. So this thread has gone back as far as October which is roughly when I launched my file and uh, this has been done by Mr Mercury as you can see who's also created a file that links to the IVAO stuff and he's got a Google Drive folder there you can click and uh, with the readme and airlines VMR and things like that. Personally you don't need that defaults VMR that just becomes more of an issue and you get more defaults showing up that way, those horrible Asobo generic models uh, but go ahead and download airlines.vmr from Mr Mercury and get that into your uh, downloads folder so then you should have the airlines.vmr file and also my model matching VMR file too and that that is what you're going to need While you're waiting, go ahead and find where your vPilot uh, folder is actually situated. And for me, it's inside my documents. And paste your airlines.vmr file from Mr. Mercury and my model matching file into this section here. Ready for your installation. 
once you've got everything installed you're going to want to open vPilot as administrator go into your settings tab go to your model matching tab here ignore the rescan that's been greyed out now it's not applicable for us anymore so don't get confused with that and you want to go to your custom rules tab and make sure you go ahead and just add custom rule set navigate through to your vpilot files wherever that's been situated uh, for me again it's this PC documents vpilot files and go ahead and select all of the ones that you want and hit open and they should all go straight into here prioritize them in whichever order you want you can move them up and down and then hit apply and OK and then you should be able to connect in once you're running the system once you're running the sim you'll be able to go ahead and connect in there and get going on that sim okay so uh, one to two hours or so later the IVAO pilot client has finished setting up uh, so you can go ahead and click next and uh, if you want to actually go ahead and use IVAO instead of VATSIM um, although I recommend VATSIM of course um, you could go ahead and click there to create some shortcuts but for now we'll click finish uh, we're doing setup for VATSIM of course so go to your community folder now and uh, if you go into local packages you'll now see the IVAO altitude client actually built into the packages section here in its own subsection so all of this here is actually for the altitude client so double click go into your community folder and scroll down until you get to I if it's alphabetically listed and you should see the IVAO XCSL file all installed there you can see that I've uh, updated it from the 8th of uh, January to today's date which is when I'm recording this and that's all we need so actually what we can do at this stage if we're not going to use IVAO uh, for example I don't I use that VATSIM you can go ahead and enter this and then click uninstall and then go ahead and just uninstall the client so the IVAO file now will be empty delete that but in community folder we've still got that IVAO XCSL file there so that's all done we've gone ahead and also in the meantime downloaded and updated all our liveries mega pack uh, liveries of whatever we want and any others on flightsim.to as well that, that we want to download as well and use in the sim uh, as I've done as a lot of you guys know so having done that and having of course already entered the relevant model matching files into our custom rules section here we can just run the sim as normal right click run as administrator of course as always and with vpilot right click run as administrator once you're uh, in the sim and you've booted and uh, then you're good to go so uh, as always I hope you found the video useful that is uh, the best way to get model matching working currently in the sim of course when I've uh, when FSLTL develops and releases their package uh, for the public to use then similar principles will be just download that make sure that's in your community folders correctly and use whatever VMR files are available for that as well uh, at the time of release so uh, make sure you click subscribe, do check out all of my other videos on the channel and uh, hopefully you'll soon tune in for a live stream as well on the channel so say hi when you do in the live chat. Thank you all for watching and uh, see you soon.